Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Good. Well, um, what time exactly? 7 p.m. will be fine. Alright, 7 p.m. it is. In that case, I better start getting going, okay? See you then. Bye. See you too, my princess. I don't know. Hope is not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Odechi! Odechi! Hey, Abe, come! Wow, you don't start there here since. I bet no vet. You don't tell me you did. So, you want to say you don't see me? I don't, I don't, I don't there here since now, no just the way. I bet go give me food as usual. I don't want to go, I give me food. Do I as usual, yeah? I bet, fast one, fast one, do fast. Okay, I'm sure you're okay. You left the bottle and you're with me. And you're here, thank you. I'm okay. You're okay, okay. Let me bring this in. Bring with you. The princess of Oronto Kingdom. The jewel of the king. Why are you inviting me to a tavern? What must I do? But you cannot disappoint the princess. Well, it is surprising how I have been using this road practically almost every day. Then I still don't know this place exists. <laughs> it is the lead tavern in the Toronto Kingdom. Oh. A place where you are guaranteed to have all kind of cold drinks anytime, any day. Mm. Anyways, I'm not surprised you don't know this place because of your busy schedule at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it is not as if I don't hang out, just that I, I don't know here. It's okay. So tell me, how is it going with you? How are you coping with my father's company? Well, I must confess, great. Great. 
My father told me about some kind of transaction, fraud or something. Have you been able to fish out the bad guys? Not yet, but soon. You must be really good with your work. Thank you for the compliment. And also thank you for the commendation you made about me to your father. The other day I came to the palace. Oh, he told you. <laughs> Anyways, you're welcome. I know you'll be wondering why I'm doing all this. Of course. And you've never asked? Well, I am just being a gentleman. And to the best of my knowledge, a gentleman should not sentence a lady to a long process of unnecessary questioning. Hmm. I completely agree with you on that. That aura that moves with you connects you to a state of gentility. Permit me to chip in this. You're handsome. Thank you, my princess. One more thing. I like you. I'm just telling you this because I believe you're civil and exposed. And I'm hoping you will not be an average African man to use this against me. Well, you... You occupy an important part of my history, so... I cannot use anything against you. Good. Very well then. We're good. Drink on. Cheers to our love. Cheers. I like you. I'm just telling you this because I believe you're civil and exposed. And I'm hoping you will not be an average African man to use this against me. I know what she wants. But I cannot betray the king by doing that. How do I tell her? You seem surprised. Yes, I am surprised you not to be. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, forgive my manners. I'm actually not a troublemaker, you know. Hmm? So tell me, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Hmm. There's something on your head. Thank you. Thank you. And also on your beard. Thank you, Linda. Vitalis. You know that you're a cute guy, right? Yeah. What is wrong with you? I mean, have you suddenly gone nuts? you've consistently refused to understand that we are corporate individuals and in a corporate environment too get out did you just say that to me? out! I didn't tell you everything. 
And trust me, I'll brief him accordingly. Don't worry, I'll call you in the last minute as soon as I'm through, okay? Thank you, Mom, for coming back. Okay. I overheard your discussion over the phone with Miss Mary. What? You were dropping on me or what? My princess, you can't call it a dropping. For you, we are talking normal. I only got curious when you told her that I have cancelled your plans of visiting her in Canada because we have found your dream man. And do you have any problem? that I have found my dream on. Not at all, my princess. I'm very excited. You can confide in me. Who is the lucky man? I wonder how that boy got into this one. Hey, who is that one, Jude? What is it? Oh, you do not know. The transaction made by Ventis Petroleum Limited. Of course, Ferdinand. Exactly. That idiot has verified everything. And he has already gone to discuss it with the boss. I am aware of that. <sighs> Ferdinand, something needs to be done. You need to do something. Yeah? Remember that work hasn't been going on in our houses. How do you mean? Why would you say that? <sniffs> Have I not told you I am already working on a new strategy? You should rather be more concerned with him discovering our old strategy because that will prove a lot and expose us as well. I'm concerned, man. In fact, I'm concerned with everything. I'm, see you later, man. Princess Helen. Hey, Boo. How are you doing? <laughs> well, I, I am fine, and you? Good as always. You know. I, I had no idea you were coming. Yes. That is because I wanted to surprise you. And I made something special for you. Me? What is that? Have it. Go on. What is it? Open it. Oh my goodness. You you bought food for me? No, 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 no. I didn't buy that food. I made it specially for you. Actually, I do not like you eating some local cheap food. So, I made this specially for you. I know you like it. Mm. Come on, Ansem. Say thank you. Thank you, my Thank you, Ansem. Good. I enjoy your meal. The princess of Oronto Kingdom visiting Vitalis with a flax of food. What does that mean? What does she want? How are you, Linda? Oh, I'm fine, thank you, sir. I saw the princess having it. Where is she? Yes, she did. Um, she's in Vitalis' office. She actually came in with a food flax which possibly contains food. I don't know what that means. How are you? That is not my business what anyone decides to do with her life. I actually thought she came looking for me. Well, she came for Vitalis and she's with him. Okay then. Okay, 
Should I just tell her right away that Vitalis is my man so that she can keep off? She hardly likes anything or anyone that I write. That shows that you are special. And of course, that seems to be a pass mark for you, Vitalis. And it seems to have made me like you and trust you the more. This temptation is a very serious one. How do I overcome it? Fish, please. Uh, okay. Only, only that one. Tell you, very big one. Splendid. And thank you for calling me this night. <laughs> well, I just called to find out how you're doing and hope you enjoyed the meal. Oh, of course I did. Definitely. And I have every reason to believe that you spent quality time on it. Because um, it seems to contain everything that should be in it. Indeed, you're a wonderful cook. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know you will love it. Don't worry, from henceforth I'll be preparing such a meal. Thank you very much, Princess. I really do appreciate it. But I don't think it is necessary. I mean, you shouldn't be going all out to do that for me. Shh, quiet. Please, I insist. Listen, you never asked for it. I did it because I know you're what. You're what more than that, okay? Thank you once again, Princess. Uh, you make me feel very important but i still maintain that you shouldn't be going out of your way i mean just to please me oh please stop it don't say that okay anyways good night i'll see you tomorrow okay all right good night princess he talks with so much maturity He's actually intelligent. I think I like him. <laughs> Finally, there's a man in my sister's life. I can't believe this. You were actually joking around. Ah, great directrix, dear. I'm glad, for this never happened before. So who is he? Well, not so fast. You get to find out. No, I insist you tell me who this person is. Calm down. Hey, sister. No, you're not going to do this to me, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Stop now. Oh, calm down. Serious? <laughs> oh. I understand. Uh. Just say you like it. <laughs> of, of course I do. I like it. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't like such an expensive wristwatch? But it it wasn't necessary. Come on, Vitalis. This is likeness. I am attracted to you and I don't know the reason. When you love someone, naturally you should make them gifts always. Well, thank you very much, Princess. 
You're welcome. Here. I brought you this today. Specially made spaghetti. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll go and come back, yeah? Is that how she walks into your office if it doesn't happen? Once again, you're welcome. Thank you, my my princess. Vitalis. Yes, my princess. Are you shy? No, I I'm fine. Are you sure? Acting strange. Hmm? Is it that you have never been touched by a woman? I I am sorry, my princess. You're sorry. Look, my princess, I cannot do this. I cannot afford to offend my master and king by getting into anything personal with you. Are you resisting me? I am sorry, my princess. Are you... Vitalis! Where is it? Wait. Did they just resist me? their rights. Vitalis needs to be sacked for bringing the corporate image of the company to ridicule. Driving the company corporate car to such a local place to buy whatever. Like I told you earlier, my daughter, I will inquire from him tomorrow. I was not able to do that today because I had left before he returned. Okay? Come on, Dad. Do you need to inquire from him? Just go ahead and sack him. It's not as easy as you just said it. This is a young man I commissioned to look for the missing money in the company. He hasn't even done that. Is this all about money? We are talking about the company image for crying out loud. Same denominator. I think I've done with this issue. I'll be upstairs. Oh. Mm. Why did you say anything? Something like what? You'd have asked that to sack Vitalis. Hello, princess. I will never do anything like that. And why won't you do that? Come on. This was a guy you always had feelings for. 
And all of a sudden, all those feelings are dead and gone. Felicity, you don't get this. He's, 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 he's the son of a nobody. His parents rode on a bicycle and... So? Helen, why are you sounding like an illiterate? What anybody decides to do with their lives is exclusively their prerogative. Why do you hate this man simply because his parents rode on a bicycle? Why? Not just that. He's in love with one, one local dirty girl. That's that, that rose planting by the roadside. You don't expect me to fall for such a, such a low life guy, do you? Are you specific about that? Yes, I am. Relationship with the girl? No, I, I don't have any relationship with her. I'm just attracted to the poor girl who is trying so hard to keep her life going. That is the truth, sir. I love that. Right, Alice. You know, what you just said tells me that you have a very good heart. And may God bless you for that. Amen. Thank you, sir. That's one thing I've always told my children, that it pays to be good, because givers never lack. So, keep it up. Thank you, sir. You can always go there with the official car. I don't have a problem with that. OK? Thank you so much, sir. You're Thank welcome. you. <laughs> so, that brings me to the investigation. How is it going? Well, sir, I'm almost there. I want to pin it in such a way that by the time I mention the names of the people involved in the fraud, mm -hmm. I mean, I will have enough evidence to meet them in court. That is, if they decide to sue. Mm. I think I understand what you mean. Just do it right. Take your time. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. The young man is only helping a poor young lady. And to me, that is good. I love people who enjoy helping others. And both of you should learn that. Uh, but, sir, I... uh, it's okay, Mr. Jude. Uh, I know what you want to say, but don't worry about the young man going with the official car. I've given him a go ahead to do that. He can go anywhere he wants with that car. Is that okay, gentlemen? Yes, sir. But you know, Jude, we cannot argue with the MD. I told you, Ferdinand. I told you, Vitalis had a spare cast of boss. Have you not confirmed it now? This guy is just an enemy of progress. Something needs to be done. Something needs to be done, Ferdinand. What do we do? Ha!
I already told you what he said. He's only attracted to the hard-working poor girl who is working to keep her life going. And he said he's not in a relationship with her. And you believed him? I have no cause to doubt him. Vitalis will not lie to me, and you know it. What makes you think he can't lie to you? <sighs> Princess, please, leave poor Vitalis alone. Dad. Listen, Princess. I have a presentation to make this morning, and I want to be in the right frame of mind to do it. And I believe you are the one putting yourself in the wrong frame of mind. That low life undermines the image of the company. Dad. I need you to fire him today. I'm surprised that you're the one talking like this, Princess. No right-thinking managing director will make the costly mistake of firing anyone in such a manner. Oh, excuse me. So I've been a little All the missing money is traceable to you, sir. To me? Yes, sir. How? So you see, you have a track record of philanthropy. Yes. Once in a while, you ask that donations be made and then money be dispersed. Yes. I think the accountant and the manager took advantage of that to siphon money into their pockets. Oh, my God. So, that is what Jude and Ferdinand have been doing to me. Oh my God. I am so sorry, sir. I will suggest you place yourself on salary monthly, sir. You can pick any figure which was probably three million. But a figure that you don't exceed monthly. Thank you, Vitalis. Thank you, my son. You're welcome, sir. Once you take that decision, sir, let us communicate it to the manager and the accountant. You see, with that, they will not have any avenue to siphon funds to themselves anymore. That is, if you do what I suggested, sir. I want to inform both of you that Henceforth, I should be placed on a salary of one million naira monthly. Um, but sir, uh, uh, does this have anything to do with the meeting you just had with Vitalis? No, not at all. Just some new measures in the company. I would also uh, want all donations and monetary gifts that I give in the course of my philanthropic work to be handled by Vitalis. Well, I'm taking this decision as the MD of the company and I want the implementation to be immediate. Mm. <laughs> this is so delicious. I know. What are you trying to say? That the ones you've been eating since are not delicious? No, no, no. That's not what I meant. Okay. This is what I meant. It gets more delicious as the days go by. I hear you. <laughs> it just gets better. Let me get you another fish. No, no, no don't worry, I'm okay. Mark of this one. I insist. So big. I know. It's for you. All right. Well, let's start with it. Mm. Then you have to do it. It's for you. No, come on. Eat. Mm. 
Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Okay. Hmm? Come on, put it for me. You're coming. You're coming. Right. And please don't bring more. <laughs> <laughs> That you mean it's been your GM and accountant all this while? Exactly. To think that these were men I trusted so much. Human beings are terrible and wicked. You can say that again. You said they are already building two houses each at two different locations. Exactly. But dad, how did you get to find out about the houses? <sighs> Don't you trust what your dad can do? I started a private investigation. Instantly, through one registered private investigator. And he followed all their dealings and found out all the investments they made with my money. Can you imagine that? Hey! So, what are you going to do to them? Oh, come on, Felix. Of course, they will be fired and spend the rest of their miserable lives in jail. Gosh! I'm glad to hear that from you. You see now? The same vital is that you asked me to fire has not become the messiah. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't know. I am going to be straight on this, for I have no time to waste on men like you who don't have questions. Uh, uh, you making reference to us, Your Majesty. Jude and Ferdinand, I'm going to be straight with you. I'm very modest. You are fired. I do not want to hear a word from any of you. I'm sure as we speak, emails have been sent to your boxes containing your letters of termination of appointment. You are leaving this company today. Uh, but your majesty... Shut up. I'm aware that both of you are building houses at different locations. Not just that. You also have several brand new cars running as taxes for you on the online taxi business. What? All with the company's money. You are truly wicked. And for your information, they have all been confiscated. And I am coming for more. Uh, your, your, your Majesty, is there any way we can? I just told you I don't want to hear anything from you. A detailed report on investigations concerning both of you and your activities. Is he here with me? And I believe the report. Leave my company now. If I call him security. Yo. Hello. Good evening. How are you? This is Hey Vincent Brent. Can I speak with you? Hey, hey, come down, come down. What do I do? Fight the woman? No, no, no. Let him hit me. Go ahead and slap me. Huh? Slap me and discover yourself in jail where you belong. Useless man. Can you imagine how much they have stolen from a man like them? Did you touch him? No. Why are you letting them go scot free? You should lock them up. They're behind, they belong behind bars. I have a way of dealing with people like this. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Sir, I heard you just fired both Jude and Ferdinand. Yes, do you have a problem with that? Not exactly, Your Majesty, but that wasn't what I was expecting. I mean, what happens to the huge funds they have been diverting? Your Majesty, I was thinking we hand them over to the EFCC as we push for the recovery of the funds. 
That's a very good idea, but my son, don't worry yourself. You are talking about men who are already grounded, accounts frozen, properties confiscated. Don't worry, son, I know what I'm doing. As a matter of fact, you are now the new general manager of Roto Oil and Gas Limited. So, you heard me right. You are now the new general manager of Roto Oil and Gas. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank no, you so much, sir. Get up, my son. Get up. I should be the one thanking you for salvaging my company. Once more, congratulations. Thank you. This is very good, Vitalis. Very good. Honestly, the company has been progressing since you took over as the general manager. And I must tell you, I am impressed. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So, what about your plantain seller friend? <laughs> well, she's fine, sir. Great. Um, has she been to your house? No, sir, she hasn't. Why? Nothing, sir. Are you sure, or is it that you don't want her to visit your house? Well, not really, Your Majesty. I mean, there's nothing special about my house. It's just a one-room self-contained. What? You mean you're still living in that one-room self-contained? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, no. You deserve something better than that. I mean, into a big house where you can have a good compound if you want to host your friends, you want to have a party, a meeting or something. I mean, come on. <laughs> Is it? That's what it should be. Anyway, I'm going to get my house agent to look for something for you like that. Okay? It's very important. You know, you have worked so hard, so you deserve something great. <laughs> yes, hello, Mr. Ignis. Um, I want you to make some arrangement for me to buy a house. Yes, exactly. Sincerely speaking, my daughter, since Vitalis took over as the general manager, the fortunes of the company have risen beyond my immediate imagination. He is not only amazing, he is a genius. Oh. <laughs> That's wonderful. Big ups to him. Baby, I have also decided to move him into a duplex. Uh, I'm surprised that he still lived in uh, his one-room apartment. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say? Um, that's awesome, Dad. I support the idea. <laughs> you do? Yes, I do, Dad. I mean, the laborer deserves his wage. He's worth the promotion and uh, I can't deny him that, Dad. <laughs> 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 What's funny, Dad? No, I'm, I'm lucky. I mean, I'm lucky to have made that instant decision of accepting him from his ear. Yes, yes, you can say that again. You are lucky. We are lucky. <laughs> I am very happy for you. Well, thank you very much, my dear. I will invite you over as soon as I move in. Um. <clears throat> You invite me to your new house. Exactly. A duplex? Mm hmm Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Come. Mm. Honestly, I can't wait for that to happen. Well, very soon. Very soon. I'm so happy for you. My dad told me everything. He told me how you used your advanced knowledge in bookkeeping and accounting to unmask the criminal that planned to liquidate the own toy and gas. <laughs> well, my princess, I, I must say sincerely, 
we should be thanking your father, the king. I mean, his managerial prowess and ability to make instant and credible decisions was what gave us the breakthrough. Hmm. I am particularly happy that um, finally, Toronto Oil and Gas is back on the path of um, prosperity and progress. Well, I'm also aware that uh, you are now the new GM, general manager. <laughs> Thanks to God. <laughs> so can we at least toast to your success? Very well then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my princess, I must confess, I have met princesses, but you are different. You are an exceptional one, and I want to thank you for being an example. Oh, please, A Vitaly, stop it. Don't make this about me. This is about you. <laughs> and sincerely, I wish you success as you progress in the company. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you oh, very nice much. Nice one. Ogechi, do you know you're very beautiful? Am I? Yes, you are. Thank you. And as for you, you already know you are handsome, so I don't need to tell you. No. I want to hear from you. Okay, you are handsome. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, on oh, the most serious note, my dear. I don't know why I'm so addicted to you. I mean, a day without seeing you makes me feel so incomplete. Um, I think the feeling is mutual. Do you know it is so deep that I, I see you in my dreams? Really? Yes. I even told my friend and she said I was going insane. Same here. It's same with me. I see you in my dreams almost every day. You do? Yes. Um. To be honest with you, I discovered as close as we are, I have never had a thought of going intimate with you. I don't know why. This is strange. Indeed. What is it? What you just said, my dear. I mean, it's the same with me. You do? In as much as I know that I am attracted to you and I always want to see, I want to always have you around. I have not really thought of having any sexual dealings with you. Yes, I know I'm in love with you and I also... I love you too. I am beginning to feel you have some kind of attachment to this place. I mean, why are we always here? What is the name of this place? Muna Kingdom Tavern, of course. Um, why did you ask? I thought by now you would have figured it out. My mother's name is Muna. She opened this tavern before she passed on. And that is why it is called Muna Kingdom Tavern. I usually come here when I'm bored, just to cool off. Wow. 
So that means you own this business now. Right? Vitalis, please. We are not here to discuss business. All right. I, I am Could sorry. Could we just go sorry. to why we're here? All right. I am sorry, my princess. So, can we go back to the reason why we're here? I, I called you here because I want to apologize to you. I wanted to send an email, but I changed my mind. I thought it would be wise for me to say this, talking to you, looking at you, eyeball to eyeball. Do you really owe me an apology? I mean, you are the princess of Arunta Kingdom. The dwell of the king of Arunta Kingdom. You should not be... Please, Vitalis, allow me. I want to apologize for throwing myself at you back then. I know you may see me as a loose woman, but I want to tell you I am not. I only did that back then because I find you attractive. I'm attracted to you in a way I have never felt for, for any man. Well, my princess, <laughs> we should not be talking about this. Look, I hold you in a high esteem. Yes. So, when did they say they are making the transaction? Well, Your Majesty, on Thursday. Thursday. Yes, sir. That's okay. Are you okay? I, I'm fine, sir. Yes. You sure? Have you eaten? No, sir. I thought that's much. So, why haven't you eaten? How should I say? Why haven't you gotten food from your friend's shop? I went there earlier today and I met the whole place deserted. Mm. Same thing as yesterday. Is that why you're worried? I don't know, Your Majesty. I just wish all is well with her. I'm sure all is well. Um, she probably decided not to come yesterday and today. Maybe just to have a rest or something. Have you called her on phone to find out if she's okay? You might not believe it, Your Majesty, but I don't have her mobile number. I did not find it necessary to ask for it. Oh, shocking, but anyway, um, we'll go there tomorrow and find out. Maybe she will come tomorrow. I believe she'll be there. 
Okay, Your Majesty. Great. So, go and find something to eat. All right, sir. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I have grown to understand what constitutes a gentleman. One important thing is that a gentleman never keeps a woman waiting, no matter what. What happened to your state of gentility? I... I don't know if I can tell you this, but I am worried. Well, if what you're about to tell me will bring you back to the gentleman I used to know, then you should tell me already. Ogage is my problem. What? And I... I'm going insane. You kept me here in this tavern because of Ogechi. Who is Ogechi? Ogechi is the hard-working young lady that sells beans and plantain down the road of Oronto Oil and Gas. What about her? She... She hasn't been in her shop for over a week now and... I am worried. I'm sure she's fine. Is that why you're moody? I am just worried about her. It's possible she traveled or something. I mean, you should... She's fine. Well, you should um, place your order already because I've been waiting for you and I'm starving. Let's get to business. Let's get to why we're here. Do that already. Look, I stopped you because I have seen you eat in our shop before. And how is that a problem? I don't want to go to her shop to eat because I love the way she made me prepare her food. Do you have a problem with that? There, I don't have any problem with that, sir. It's just that for a few weeks now she's been absent from her shop and I just needed someone to tell me her whereabouts. Are you okay? Why are you disturbing yourself over nothing? It's possible that the girl has saved enough money and diverted it to her new business. But if you're hungry, I have a good joint I'll take it to. Um, thank you for that. Do you know her whereabouts? Where she lives or something? I don't know her exact house, but I know she lives close to uh, St. Nicholas Church, behind the Transformer. If you get to that place, I believe that you will see somebody that will know her. Mm -hmm. Acts of uh, Ogish Nessie was the planted. She's very popular there. Okay. Behind St. Nicholas? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, right, just a. Uh, Manage this for the information. Thank you very much. And for your time wasted. Did this be lost? Could this be love? 
Is it possible that this such a rich man is in love with that look I did? This can only be a miracle. But well, thank you for the thank you for the for, for the money. Please, meet me tomorrow. It's Android. I heard she lives in this compound. Yes, but she's very sick. What? Please, do, do you know her room? Yes, she lives there. Okay, thank you. Sick for past two weeks. Oh my God! Has she been taken to the hospital? No. I got her medicine, but I don't think if any of them is working. All right, please just help me stand her up so we take her to the hospital immediately. Okay. Just help me, please. Okay. So, doctor, what are the result? Do you know her very well? To an extent, yes. I wouldn't say very well. But from the little I know of her, I can attest to the fact that she's a good girl. Does she do any sort of hard work? Well, that. Well, she sells beans and plantain for a living. And um, she gets to stand by the fire almost all day. For that kind of work, I believe she has been taking painkillers. From our medical investigations, the painkillers may have affected her kidney. She is down on kidney problem. What? Sorry, my friend. You'll be fine. Oh, how is she now? Yes, it has. But what did the doctor say? Not good at all. The doctor said she is down on kidney failure. What? It is so bad that she will need a kidney transplant. No, it's not true. Okay, oh, no. Five million naira. Where do I get five million naira to save this girl? She does not deserve to die. What must I do to save this innocent girl that I have come to love? So, who would do not take it? Your Majesty, Adane, her friend, has accepted to donate her kidney. But that is if we can come up with the money. Please, Your Majesty, I beg you to please assist the poor girl. I have a lowdown of your charitable activities. And I know you've done far more than this. Please, I beg you. Assist us. Please. So, how, how is she? She's sleeping. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my dear. Is she the girl? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay, 
Let me see the doctor. All right, sir. Out of this, Felix. Dad, why would you agree to help a stranger you barely know? Is it that you don't know what to do with the money? Stop or it! What? Stop it! Have you gone out of your mind? What has come over you? Are you this heartless? This is crazy. Don't you have any atom of milk of human kindness in you? How much is five million that you cannot give to save a life of someone who makes the general manager happy? Listen, Vitalis saved this company from a threatening fraud. And anything that makes him happy will be looked into. Get that into your head. Rubbish. I'll be up in my room. All right, Dad. I told them to change my mind. If Vitalis had approached me, I will do exactly the same thing. You will? What is wrong with you, princess? Listen to me, oh. In this family, we are wired to give. And that is why we don't lack. Learn to show some kindness. It pays. Gosh. I don't know. I hate that girl so much. I don't know her, but I hate her. I hate her so much. Doctor, I, I, I don't understand you. Doctor, what do you mean by that? Your Majesty, what that means is that her friend's kidney is not a match. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. So, what do we do now? Your Majesty, another person needs to be tested immediately. This is serious. Okay. I offer to be tested. What? Yes, Your Majesty, I, I am desperate to save that girl. Please, Doctor, can we get started? In that Please, case, can we get started? In that case, come with me. You're back already. What is going on, Dad? There's something about your countenance that is making me curious. Are you not going to tell me what's going on? I just returned from the hospital. Hospital? Yes, that poor lady's friend's kidney did not match. So, Vitalis offered to be tested. What? Vitalis offered to be tested? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? Yes, Dad! Why will you do it in like that? Why? Helen, you have to change this, your attitude of not helping people. Learn to help people. What is wrong with you? Please. I'd like to be left alone. It is not clear that Vitalis is in love with this girl. There's no way he can deny it. Doctor, you mean... Vitalis's kidney 
is a match. Yes, absolutely a match, Your Majesty. Thank God! <laughs> this is interesting, good news. Your Majesty, not just that. What again? Not only did their kidneys match for a transplant, uh -huh. we also discovered that they equally share the same DNA. Test. What? Your Majesty, the resemblance is so shocking. Hey, Doctor, what could that mean? Are they in any way related? No, not at all. <sighs> this is so strange, Your Majesty, I must say. It's so strange. So we need to proceed with the transplant, but first, we need to sign these papers. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. I wonder what I would have done without you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. It's the Lord's doing. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, you said the doctor told you that we share the same DNA. Um, Your Majesty, how possible can that be? Well, I'm confused as well. But anyway, we'll investigate further through Ezeno. Ezeno? Yes, you know how people usually say when you're looking for a problem, you go to the truth. Oh. Actually, it's your truth. It's your truth. This is strange. What is your name, my daughter? Ogechi, Your Majesty. Ogechi. I think the metro will be of immense help. Metro? Yes. The metro where I adopted the uh, fetus, she can be of help. So where can we get this metro? If you want to meet, I can arrange for a meeting. That would be good. Please do. sent me out of the house because I was not able to give him any child. So I decided to adopt a child of my own, a female child that can console me for the rest of my life, a child I can call my own daughter. I am so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Okay. Thank you very much, Petra. Okay. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Okay. Miss Nkeru Obwana, for me to have asked you why you needed a female child means that we have already carried out a background check on you and I can confirm to you that you are qualified to adopt this child. Thank you very much, Metro. This day will be forever be remembered. 
for the rest of my life. So, I will want you to sign on this cola. Then you're tampering here. And one more thing. I want you to raise this child in the fear of God. And if finally you decide otherwise, please don't hesitate to return her back to us. Metron, as it is, this child is my life and I will never get tired of her. Nkiro Bonina was the woman that adopted you. You. There is no doubt she is your sister. You are my sister? Yes, she is your sister. She is your sister that survived with you after the hit and run driver crashed your parents. My brother. This is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> oh, oh princess. Dad. Guess what? What's now, Dad? Just guess. I'm sorry, I can't guess. Well, the good news is that Ogechi and Vitalis are siblings. I don't get. <laughs> we carried out an investigation on the striking resemblance of their DNA only to discover that they're actually siblings. That Ogeti is actually Vitaly's sister that survived the accident with him. What? How did you get to know this? The matron that took both of them to the orphanage confirmed this to us through the name of the woman who adopted Ogeti. And voila, they're siblings. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Indeed, my dear. I am so happy for them. Yes. Could that be the reason for his attraction towards her? Of course. That was it. Honestly, God is great. I am happy for them. Your brother must hear this. And uh, before that, let me freshen up. Yes. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Oh. So this is his reason all this while. Oh God, forgive me. Vitalis, I'm sorry. What were you thinking? You know, this just looks like a dream to me. Then you have to wake up. My lovely sister, of course. <laughs> because it is not a dream. God is so wonderful. Of course he is. Yes. Honestly, this is the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> Mary, anyway, me too. <laughs> you know, I'm so filled with joy and happiness right now. You know, now I know why we never had that mind of having sex with each other. Because uh, that's not how close we were. We didn't even want to do that. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> You're right, in a way. You know, I never thought of it until now. <laughs> well, we're just loving each other's outcome of the unknown bond between us as siblings, of course. <laughs> well, I, I thank God for everything. We just May give him all the praise. Right. May the soul of our parents rest in peace. I say amen to that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Why did I judge him in a hurry? Why was I unable to control my emotions? Will he ever listen to me? Will he ever forgive me? Once again, I, I am sorry for keeping you waiting. 
You know, these new developments confirming Ogeji as my sister has really unveiled a new phase of my life. We've been together, you know, trying to get acquainted and savouring the moment as brother and sister, of course. Sure. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Please, 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 please. Please don't do this. I mean, who am I that you should kneel before me? Please. I'm very sorry for my bad behavior. I was only being jealous and selfish. Please. I shouldn't have interfered into your private life and... Please, I... just stop. It would be of great pleasure to me if you just stop. God went ahead of us in a way far beyond our understanding and brought my sister back to me. I am not angry with you. Are you sure? And I bear no grudge against you. Are you sure? Of course. I mean everything I said. I... I have always loved you too. But I was scared. I was scared of my job and every other thing. But I'm happy that everything has been sorted out. And I, I can boldly say that you mean the world to me. <laughs> That's so sweet. So, in that case, can I invite you to the palace tomorrow? Well, you can say that again. You know, King Vincent the Great of Oronto Kingdom is a man of unique charisma. I believe God sent him my way to possibly console our parents. I think so too. <laughs> so, when are you bringing your wife home? Uh, well, for that, the king has promised us a lavish marriage ceremony. Are you serious? Yes. He's even planning it with Ezen. But first of all, we have to go to the palace tomorrow. On the king's invitation. Okay. Is this celebrating anything? 
I'm not exactly, I can't tell anyway, but he specifically said I should come with you. Me? You. Okay. Father, the princess is here to recover from the shock. It was not a shock in the real sense of the word. It was just a learning process. I believe she will not look down on anyone again throughout her life. Yeah, I believe so too. It's just that I won't be around to witness the pronouncement you spoke about. Oh, I'm sure you would like it when you get to hear it. <laughs> when you get to London tomorrow, extend my greetings to your fiance. Tell her she still remains a cardinal part of this world. Oh, trust me that she'll hear. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go upstairs now so I can freshen up and get some rest. I have a long flight to catch tomorrow. All right. Good night, Dad. It's great to you sleep. Oh, most definitely, son. <laughs> <laughs> the information we got from the palace secretary says that the king wants to make a pronouncement and he wants the elders in council to be present. Because of that, we are here. But sincerely, we are wondering what the pronouncement will I be. I am particularly curious about the composition of this meeting. I mean, we are seeing people that shouldn't be here with us. And even the princess, is there a reason they are here? Or is this not supposed to be a full council meeting? Once again, elders in council, welcome to the palace of Oronto Kingdom. Welcome everyone. Um, something remarkable happened in the life of my beautiful daughter, the princess, and not just her, including myself. So I decided to summon everyone here that we may enjoy the moments together. <laughs> King Vincent the Great, Your Majesty, you are a king that is renowned with great surprises. Could you tell us why you summoned us to this meeting, Your Majesty? His name is Vitalis. This young man came into my life by the act of God. Just before my son traveled to the UK, he did something remarkable in the life of my daughter, the princess. Vitalis proposed to my daughter and she has accepted to marry <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Your Majesty, we are happy with the princess. <laughs> that you summoned us to be here for you to make this pronouncement. It simply means you have accepted the young man as your son-in-law. And I confirm to you, on behalf of the men in council of Ogronto Kingdom, that we have also accepted him. <laughs> Thank you, elders and council. Thank you, You may not understand what God did, but suffice it to say that you are that pronouncement 
that I called all these people, especially my elders in council, to make. My daughter has always pressed it on me to take another wife. I declined severally, but in fairness to her, I need a wife. But I made it clear to her that my heart has not found the right woman to follow. Especially one capable of replacing my late wife, Queen Mona. But I bless that day that I met you on the sickbed. After that encounter, everything changed. I saw in you that woman I had been waiting for. And I recognized immediately that you're the one for me. So I make this innocent proposal before my men in council and family of Toronto Kingdom. Will you marry me and be the queen of the great Toronto Kingdom? present to you the new queen of the Royal Kingdom. <laughs> Oh, na, 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 na,